Hey everyone, it's Gus, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Cano Kit. Now this kit is a great package that contains everything you need to get started with Raspberry Pi. This kit has been designed for kids, so it's a great starting tool if you're looking at getting your kids into coding and technology. In this video I will go through each of the components of the kit so you can get a good understanding of what to expect from it. On first impressions the packaging simply looks awesome. The nice bright orange sleeve really makes it stand out and very inviting. So now let's open the box. Now inside here we have all the parts and the manuals that are included with the kit. So let's start with the keyboard. It's a mini wireless keyboard with a trackpad on it. If you're an adult, you're probably going to struggle using this keyboard as it is quite small. However, I believe if you were a kid, as that's what the kit is aimed at, it would be a pretty good size. Now the keyboard is wireless only, it does have a short USB charging cable on the back, but doesn't act as a data cord. It has no removable batteries, so you'll need to rely on charging it up through the USB cord. Next we have the HDMI cable and micro USB cable. Now these look great, but they also feel like they're of much higher quality than what I'd usually buy. They work fine, they're a good length, and they get the job done. Now this is the power adapter, it has an interchangeable connector, so you can change that depending on where you are living. Unfortunately they didn't have an Australian adapter, so I had to use an extra one to be able to connect it up to our power sockets here. Now here's the Raspberry Pi, now in this kit I got a B+. But in the latest kit you will get a Raspberry Pi 2, so that means you'll get all the performance boosts you get with the latest Raspberry Pi. And finally now we have the case, it is very easy to put together, you simply place your buy in here, and then just click the two pieces together. Here we have the speaker, now this sits nicely on top of the case. All you need to do is connect the black and red power cords to these GPIO pins. This is all explained in the instruction booklet. Now the blue cable comes out through this hole and then into the audio jack on the side of the Pi. Next we have the micro SD card. Now this comes preloaded with the Cano OS so all you need to do is plug it in and play. I will go more into the Cano OS in a bit. Finally we have the final piece of equipment and that is the Wi-Fi dongle. This will allow you to connect to a Wi-Fi network. It glows green and you know does the job pretty well. Now we also have all these cool manuals in the kit. They have cool illustrations that make it very easy to understand how to do certain things with the Pi. There are three books, one on how to put your Pi together, one for coding, and one that doesn't actually have any pictures, and that is the technical info book. The technical info book just goes into all the information you need about the contents of the kit. Again, these are targeted for kids, making it great for them to learn about the Pi. If you're an adult, these are probably a little too basic if you want to learn more about the Pi. That doesn't mean you can't though. Oh yeah, I also forgot you get these cool stickers for pimping out your Pi, room, or whatever it is you'd like to use these for. So now let's plug in the HDMI cord and then the PAL cord and let's boot it up. Now on first boot up, you'll need to set it all up. Now you'll need to connect the keyboard up by pressing the Bluetooth button on the keyboard, but this is all explained in the instruction manuals. Now I will just skip through the setup, but it is really done well, and makes setting your Pi up an absolute breeze. It's got clear instructions all the way through, so you will have no trouble setting it up. Now I will just update to the latest version by simply going to the bottom circular arrow and then clicking check for updates. It will take a couple of minutes then simply go update. Now it will bring us up to the latest version. It can take a while depending on how fast your connection is to the internet. Now the overall interface to me is very bright and clean. The icons are nicely illustrated and are good and easy to identify. There are plenty of applications to pick from, you have Scratch, a variation on Minecraft that allows you to do some programming via attaching blocks together, similar to Scratch. Programming music, terminal quests that teaches you how to use commands in terminal, and much more. These are all great applications for teaching the basic fundamentals of coding. 
Another great thing is even if you chew through all the tutorials included with the Kano kit, there are many more available on the internet. Now, in this kit, I got the Raspberry Pi B+. So I should mention, if you buy one today, you'll get a Raspberry Pi 2. However, on the Raspberry Pi B+, things were a little slow. And that can make even doing some of the basic things a bit painful. Since Raspberry Pi 2 is out, you should see a good increase in the speed of the Kano OS. I also ran into a few bugs while doing some of the applications, all of them very minor and didn't really hinder the progress of the tutorials. Now I reckon all these will be fixed in the very near future anyway. There was a weird hissing noise coming from the speaker whenever I clicked on something or tried playing sounds, like the sound would still work fine but it was always followed by a hiss. I'm not sure if this is a problem with the speaker itself or just a software problem. If it's a software problem I'll be able to fix it. Now I didn't mention this earlier but I didn't really think much on the speaker quality anyway. If you prefer a good quality speaker then you should look at buying a pair of speakers you can plug into your monitor or into the audio jack of the Pi. Overall, I think the Kano kit is a great kit for kids. If you're looking at introducing your kids to programming, then this is a great way to slowly ease them in. Now remember, this kit is designed for kids. If you're an adult looking for a kit, I'd probably recommend looking at something else. Now I have seen some complaints about the $150 price range, but personally, I didn't think this was too bad. When you add the case, HDMI cord, Pi, power cord, adapter, speaker, SD card, I could go on, it quickly adds up to about that anyway. Now you will need to keep in mind the Kano doesn't include a screen, so you will either need to buy one or use an existing monitor you might have. Now that's all I have on the Kano kit. If you want to ask a question or leave a comment, please leave one below or at PyMyLifeUp.com. If you want to buy a Kano kit then click here for more information. If you want to stay up to date with all the latest Pi projects, guides and much more then please subscribe.